Question number 10, Joanne Hayes. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Social Development. What recent reports has she received on the establishment of the new Ministry for Vulnerable Children, Oranga, Oranga Tamariki? Mr Speaker. Ah, the Honourable Anne Tolly. Mr Speaker, I've seen reports that show the new Ministry for Vulnerable Children, Oranga Tamariki, is ready to come into effect on the 1st of April this year. It is a fundamental shift from the crisis management approach of child, youth and family to focus on ensuring better long-term life outcomes for our most vulnerable children and young people. The new ministry will focus on five core services, prevention, intensive intervention, care support, youth justice and transition support. And I've seen reports from some people uh, labelling it as simply a rebrand of child, youth and family. Instead, what this government is pursuing is a fundamental change in the way that we deal with care and protection in New Zealand. Supplementary, Supplementary question, Joanne Hayes. How will the new Ministry for Vulnerable Children, Oranga Tamariki, differ from the current care and protection system? The Mr. Honourable Antolly. While child, youth and family had a focus on crisis management, the new Ministry for Vulnerable Children, Oranga Tamariki, will take a child-centred approach with a much greater focus on prevention and early intervention to keep families together. This is not a quick fix. This is a long work programme of reforms over four to five years to be fully implemented and bedded in. And we've already seen some of these reforms taking shape with the uh, establishment and naming of the new Independent Connection and Advocacy Service, VOICE, Whakarongo Mai, which will ensure young people in care will be heard and their voices kept at the centre of decisions made about them. They run it. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Joanne Hayes. Thank you. What other changes are being made as part of the overhaul of child, youth and family? Mr Speaker. The Honourable Anne Tolly. There will be intensive targeted support for caregivers, including some increased financial assistance and better access to support services. National care standards will be introduced, so there's a clear expectation for the standard and quality of care in placement homes. We have already passed legislation to raise the age of state care to a child's 18th birthday. I have to say, Mr Speaker, it's disappointing to see members who have launched and presented petitions calling on me to implement these exact changes then vote against the legislation, including Labor's child children's spokesperson and new deputy leader, Jacinda Ardern. Question number 11, the Honourable David Parker.